hey what's up guys it's me Kesey, and i'm back here with another tutorial for you guys i hope you guys really enjoy it okay um i'm i apologize for switching between two palettes i really try to stay in one palette for you guys but sometimes every color you need is an all in all one palette and if you do makeup you should know that so like comment subscribe hit that post notification bell um follow me on social media i have instagram and snapchat i do not have twitter i am so sorry guys eventually i'll probably make one but for right now we're just gonna stick with instagram and twitter so thank you guys for watching i hope you really enjoyed see you later bye hey what's up guys welcome back so we're gonna jump right into this morphe palette and we're gonna take the shade fired up and i'm just gonna apply that with a blending brush right above my crease and just blend it up to your eyebrow bone a little next we're gonna go into play it cool and we're gonna just apply that above fired up just to blend out the edges a little Now I'm going to take that blending brush and just blend both of those out. We're going to take Sparks Fly out the same palette and just apply that in our crease. Now I'm taking these colors out. It's going to be a winged eyeshadow, okay? And that's what we should look like for right now. Trust the process. We're going to take our Tarte shape tape concealer in the shade light medium and create this cut crease look up to give you that line so we can have a guide and it'll be a little more easier i'm just going to pat that in make sure everything is smooth and ready for eyeshadow Now I'm going to go in with some contour powder just to set that cut crease. Now I'm going to the Zulu powder by Juvia's Place and we're going to take this green shimmer shade and we're going to apply that to the inner corner of our eyes. But I'm not going to take this all the way up and cover the whole crease. I'm going to leave a little line above, like between the green shimmer shade and the dark, the top of the cut crease. It's going to be a complete empty space. So don't bring that shadow all the way up to the top and don't bring it all the way out to the end. Now we're going to go back into Juvia's Place and we're going to use that. It's not a really red shimmer shade. It's more of a pink shimmer shade, but it gives a great ombre effect. So I just applied it in the middle. Now I'm going back into that Morphe palette and we're going to take the shade color Persona, which is just a red shimmer shade. I'm just going to apply that right next to the pinkish shimmer shade from Juvia's Place and just blend those together. And this is what we have so far, guys. Now I'm going to take this Absolute New York eyeliner. It's a liquid eyeliner. It's very shimmery. This is, when I say it comes off gold, it definitely comes off gold, but it wasn't dramatic enough for me. So I'm only using this as a glue for glitter. So I did not like the brush that the eyeliner came with because it was super hard and just not able to be controlled and flexible enough for me. So I'm using a little eyeliner brush I picked up at the hair supply store. 
Now I'm using a tape of the brush to apply some more of Sparks Fly. So I did have a little fallout from the Juvia's Place palette, so I'm just cleaning that up a little bit under my eye. Then I'm going to go and conceal the wing just to make it as sharp as I need it. So in the beginning, make your wing as big as you want. Just clean it up after. This is a Morphe 173 brush. I'm just going to blend in that conceal a little bit. Now I'm going to use this glitter because what's the eye look without glitter? And we're just going to apply that right on top of that eyeliner. Now this is my NYX Black Liquid Liner and I'm just going to, I'm just going to make, I'm just going to do my eye, regular eyeliner. I'm not doing a wing. It's not that big of a deal. It's dramatic enough. This is my e.l.f. mascara. We all know how I love this mascara. So, we know these lashes apply magically. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> and this is my Maybelline Super Stay. I think the color is 362. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in. Get this face done. I'm using that beauty blender just to be more precise and careful because we worked hard on these eyes. Now this is Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Deep. And I'm just concealing my highlighter points with that under my eyes. Cupid's bow, chin, bridge of my nose, and my forehead. And this is a brush cleaner and I just want to show you guys how it works. Now for cream brush, like if you got cream on a brush like concealer, use the middle part. And it really like, the color does not come off. You can still kind of see the color, but there's no residue at all. As you can see, I rubbed it on my, my arm and there was nothing left. So it's not a brush cleaner, it's more like a temporary brush cleaner. <laughs> Don't think you can clean your brushes with that thing and just con continue to use them. You have to clean your brushes and wash them thoroughly. But while you're doing a look, that is a good thing to use because you might want to use the same brush for something else. Now I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Mahogany and we're going to take that on that Morphe M459 brush and just contour to the gods. Take this beauty blender, which is clean and damp, and we're just going to blend that out. And this is my new Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder. This is in the shade... I believe this is in... Guys, don't quote me, but I believe it's deep also. If not, I'm going to put it in the description below. And I just went ahead and pressed that into my skin. I didn't bake bake. I pressed it in more than I usually do. So we're going to try different stuff throughout these tutorials. I hope you guys try them with me.
my LA Girl Pressed Powder in the shade Coco. I'm just going to use that to contour my nose because I don't like the cream contour on my nose. Maybe one day I'll get with it, but for now it's going to be this powder. Now this is my Maybelline Contour Palette and we're using that for bronzer as usual. And take your blending brush and continue to blend. Now we're going to go back into that Morphe palette and take Sweet Beat. And we're going to go ahead and smoke out that under eye. And I'm only taking this color for the outer under eye. For the inner under eye, we're going to go right back into the same palette, okay? And we're going to use Stroke of luck stroke of luck for the inside I was just so amazed by this pan I had to keep showing you guys <laughs> some so elf mascara for these bottom lashes then we're going to take some black liner, whatever black liner you guys prefer is okay. All black liner is black liner, honestly. Four, three, two, one. Let's go! This NYX Dewy Finishing Spray, we're going to spray on our face before we apply these highlighters. Now we're going to take this highlighter, Sandstone by NK. I'm gonna, everything's going to be in the description below, so make sure you guys read that. Now I'm going to go back into that Maybelline contour palette and I'm going to use the same blush and apply a little of that highlighter in that same palette on my eyebrow bone. We you know I don't know when to stop highlighting. I have an issue with highlighting so I apply some to my upper lip, my uh, the bottom lip, I don't know where else you can wherever else you want to put highlighter, put your highlighter. I'm going to highlight my whole body eventually. I'm just melting all of that into my skin, trying not to get makeup into my hat, spraying my face again because I felt a little more dry than usual, and I'm going to use this lipstick. I know you guys can't see what it is. I don't remember what it is, and I don't have it in front of me right now, so I'm going to put that in the description. I'm just outlining my lips with this lipstick, by the way. I'm not doing a whole lip with this lipstick and I'm just smudging out the edges with this brown liner and I'm going in with this LA color lipstick I don't remember where I got this lipstick or when I got it but I have it so I decided to use it it was really cute I love this one you know I am here for anything that does not dry out my lips especially during the winter time here I go with this highlighter again y'all know I just don't know when to stop but that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification button. Don't forget to hit that button, guys. I'll see you guys later. Have a Merry Christmas. I hope you guys enjoy and have a blessed day.